Hello everyone, my name is Scrapgear, and welcome back to Tom Clancy's The Division. So, last time we went and we did the Subway Morgue mission, and we rescued Paul Rhodes, and got one of my favorite lines in the game so far, at least the one that constantly sticks in my head, can't run the city on farts and good intentions. Well, as far as I know, my agent doesn't fart. Of course, I'm sure he actually does. We're, you know what? Not even going to get into that. Not even going to get into that. So I'm at least trying good intentions and, you know, some firepower. So we're going to move on to the next mission, which we've got the Hudson Refugee Camp. Which... Meh? Is it not going to... Okay. Well, there's usually a little thing that plays there, but it's not going to play it today, apparently. Ah. Ooh, wait. Maybe if I... I think somebody's out there. We confirmed phase ah, there we one go. was a success. Repeat, phase one success. Flow steady, tank health solid. Oh, good. Roger that. Good to hear. You boys got Hudson Yard's clean count numbers for phase two? 263 confirmed infected, 47 possible, currently asymptomatic. Copy. 263 infected, 47 possible. We got enough to cover the whole deal? Gotcha. Of course, we're gonna take out the whole train yard in the process. Oh, man. Well, we do what we have to do. How many healthy enough to run, you think? I guess 10% of the total shanty population. Uh, call it 40 runners, give or take. Light up the yard and the rats will run for cover. Copy that. Double up the blockade and lock down the perimeter. And I mean tight. The yards will be sanitized. No exceptions. <sighs> I am not a fan of... Agent, Hi. we, meaning Dr. Candle, need Hi, you to Faye. secure the Hudson Rail Yards area. The yards have become a tent city for the destitute and desperate. The people forced out of every place else end up here. What we're looking for is blood samples from those refugees. Clean ones, sick ones, and ones who might have survived the dollar flu for Dr. Candle to work her magic on. So if you secure the site, we can do the rest. Okay. Yeah, like, oh man, the cleaners. They're so, they're trying so hard, like, they have good intentions, they're just really, really nasty about it. Because their whole thing is just like, well, you know, the easiest way to go and, you know, save everyone from the infection is to, oh, hi. There you go. Oh, I knew you'd help me, I knew And, uh, some more shoes, I don't, I don't need shoes. Man. Alright, in any case, yeah, back to the cleaners. They're, oh man. They have such good intentions because they want to save people from from the dollar flu and the green poison and all that stuff. And I get it. But guys, you can't just burn people alive. It's just, no, you don't do that. That's not how you fix things. Okay, that's not how you fix a lot of things. If you're cold, you light stuff on fire. Preferably not people, but, you know. Uh, no, no. You just, oh, man. What the heck? What the hey? Ah, <sighs> uh, cleaners. And the worst part is, is their leader, uh, Joe Farrow. Like, he he's the one who... Like started the well, like I said, he's the leader. He's their leader, so he started the whole thing. And I get it, but dude. Agent, it's Doctor Candle. Hi, Doctor. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus mm. samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long oh, way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Got it. Great. Uh, let's see, what's... I was just got a 15. Alright, I'm going to equip this because I need a pistol. I really, really do. Alright, what the heck does that mod do? Uh, rate of fire? Nope. Don't need the rate of fire. Yeah, that backpack is junk. And gloves are junk. And that vest is junk. Hey, right, well that made it easy. Alright. 
This is going to be another mission. Going to be a whole bunch of uh, cleaners. So we're going to be popping some tanks. Activate the echo. Oh, that's nasty. Hmm. God, I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey, it's this or nothing. Yeah, can of goulash. Blah. I wouldn't be a fan of goulash, but you know, again, that's for times. Yeah, take what you can get. All right. Oh, there's two of them right there. Oh, I can't not do this. Ha! Come on, pick your head up. Oh no! Oh no! Ugh. Ah, crud! That didn't work. And. Oh, come on. Of course I need to reload. There we go. Pop a tank. Kaboom. Clubbing. And nothing. Ooh. There's a bag over here. Or in the train. Same thing, right? <sighs> of course it's something I can't use. But of course. Yeah, might as well. Right here, restock ammunition. And... Yeah, somebody's talking. Hup. What? Oh, I didn't realize I had the wrong gun on. What the heck? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, there's another one. Ooh, there's a couple more. Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner ammo. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they'd... I'm pretty sure that's Draconian exactly solution. what they would Highly do. Highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Well, I mean... Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, Agent. I thought that was the whole point of... <sighs> yes. Those right there, that is why I needed a pistol. Because while the shotgun is definitely a better sidearm than what I've got right now, I need to be able to take care of those things and not have to worry about... Oh, come on. <laughs> and not have to worry about, oh, I've only got two shots to try and do this. Yeah, come on. Burn out. <sighs> yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God! Oh, I'm on fire. And disoriented. I don't know what's going on. Ow. <sighs> well, that was just bad timing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're going to try and keep them all alive, but that I need would those be the plan, yes. I really need viable antibody samples from survivors, so keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. Well, this isn't... I'm going back to work now. 
This is a Ma Super Mario Brothers dock. I don't exactly carry around extra life mushrooms, or, you know... Or we'll go Final Fantasy on this one, you know? There's no Phoenix Downs either. Like, I'll do what I can, but I don't think I can keep them extra alive. Ah, uh, you turd. Ah. Stupid. Come on. Ah. Oh. Come on. Er. Wow. Okay. Yep, that's me, just rocking it. Right, that's fully reloaded. Onward! Multiple guys. That is what I am talking about. I can hear it. I couldn't see it. Oh man. That's some fire. This. Dude is on fire. Sorry, that was horrible. Okay. Last time I tried to do that, I may have accidentally I didn't blow up your tank. Don't blow yours up either. What the heck? Okay. Come on, lockpick. I'm not that lucky. Of course I'm not. I'm innocent. I didn't say you weren't. Yeah, we already knew that. Confirmed. It's Napalm B, all right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank moved somewhere safe. You think? I never said you were my enemy. I'm just trying to better. Trying to mosey on by. Everybody's freaking out because I gotta shoot the bad guys, but heaven forbid. I actually shoot the bad guys, because if I do, they'll be like, oh no, you're throwing bullets at my direction. Oh no, don't hurt me. Don't run that way, get now. Uh, oh, that's a explosive tank. Oh hey, that went by fast. Okay, well, I guess I'll heal now. Come on. Poke your little head up. There we go. Peekaboo! A what? Oh, come on! Got another one? What the heck? No, 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 no. Of course. 
force. Come on. Peekaboo. Yeah. Take it. What do we got? A lined leather jacket. But I've already got an awesome motorcycle police leather jacket. Why would I want anything else? I think I mentioned in one of my earlier videos. I come from a family of police officers, so the fact that I get to have this leather jacket, which the design I really like, I like the leather jacket design in this game, and have it be a police jacket, double bonus. Of course I can't grab any of that stuff. Why let me have anything nice? Okay, nope, before I do that, you're gonna make me hop the... Uh what? Oh, that's just rude. Where's the... Oh, man. Oh, it must be below me. I don't know what I'm thinking. You know what? I still have almost 700 bullets for my assault rifle. I guess I'll be okay. Boom. What in the work doing? <laughs> I was actually going for the headshot that time. I can I can roll with that. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, Tim. That's nothing. And... Okay, agent. Okay. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? <laughs> uh, the rest are first aid Jessica certified. Campbell. They know how to tap Kendall. a vein. Kendall. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Jeez. Or infecting themselves. Yes. I'll <laughs> take your word for it. Oh, don't sound so happy. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent. Sneaky, sneaky. Boom. Always fun. And... Tank! And... Tank! Dr. Nope, Candle. that wasn't it. Sampling team, can you hear me? Patel here. Go ahead, Doctor. Oh, Lieutenant, good. Listen, I need you guys to log intake info from everybody you get a sample from. Age, gender, ethnicity, general state of health on a 10-point scale. Then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, Doctor. But maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the op is actually complete. You saying you don't have faith in your agent? <laughs> Thank you for backing me up, Jessica. Lieutenant, we'll radio the doctor as soon as the area is secured. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Captain. We'll get it all worked out. Of course. I hope so. It's only the survival of the human species we're talking about. Jeez. Copy that, Doc. Patel, help. <laughs> oh, man. Jessica Kendall, she's... She's very straightforward. About a lot of stuff. Alright, let's see. What have we got here? I have no idea what's coming up. I can't remember. For the beans of me. Right, let's see, we got... Nothing that I get to keep. Dang it, okay. Well, we can restock on ammo. And apparently I need to go up this way. Huh, huh, and up we go. Out 
You know the situation. It's too late for these people here. They're dead, every one of them. But it's not too late for us. If we do what we gotta do, it might not be too late for the rest of the country. So go to work. Finish the job. Ow! Somebody's shooting at me. I don't much appreciate it. Alright. Hop down. Oh no! Come on! Oh come on! That was some BS. Kaboom! Oh, that's just rude. Ugh, come on. Alright, where's that guy? I don't like you. Go away. Everybody go, go in. Martinez. Ow. Rude. That's just rude. Wow, I was just... Dumb on my part. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I'm gonna take care of that other guy. Ow! Oh, man. Jeez, I'm. Yikes. I don't know what my issue was. I was just not having a good time with that guy. Oh man. What'd he give me? Huh? Eh? Huh? Anything good? Come on, give me something good. Ugh. There was a vertical grip. I don't know if that'll actually be better than what I currently have, but eh, I guess we'll find out. Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Um, you don't want me to just set it down? I feel like if I just drop it, it might explode. You know, I'll put it down somewhere, and then we can, you know, ho, 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 ho. put it down somewhere, you know, requisition it, you know, make sure it doesn't blow up and, you know, possibly hurt people. Okay, whatever, we'll just... Drop it somewhere. Alright, it's not in the tunnel now. That's good. Oh boy. Is it gonna go down? Eh? No, it's just gonna drop it. Oh! Trash bags everywhere. That should do it, Agent. Solid work. Okay. Yes, good work. Now, sample team, listen. Hey! Up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Oh boy. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. Oh hey! I never said anything like that. New evidence. What? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, intel. Ooh. Report on her ongoing progress with the virus. What have we got? One of the things that makes a virus lethal is adaptation. Rapid mutation makes it harder for antibodies to identify and drugs to kill. What we're seeing in the samples you pulled from the population at the train yard is the degree of genetic drift green poison is already experiencing, and it's significant, which means it'll be that much harder to find a vaccine. Super. Okay, well... Hey, the comparative data you secured from the train yard. I mean, those refugees, of course. It gave us something to think about. 
There's another report in the database for you to look at. Which I think is what I was just looking at. Hey. And these forced relocations, this dark zone, what is okay. the point of that? We've already Stop had this transmission real quick. Hey, right. well, that is going to do it for this episode of... Uh, <laughs> I can't talk. That's going to do it for this episode of the Division Let's Play. So until next time, sayonara. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out our podcast every Monday on iTunes and Podbean. Just search for Geek Hype Radio. And until next time, sayonara.